Hello, welcome to the presentation of Jot Internet Media's case within the Internet of DevOps projects, the Keyword Repository. In this short presentation we'll go through Jot business model, our main technical challenges, the explanation of Jot's proposal to overcome them and how it can be monitored by the report system to control the good performance of the whole value chain. Jot business goal is to drive paid high volumes web traffic to its clients' websites. To do so, we use some techniques to place ads to user queries in top search engines, such as Google or Bing. Traffic buying platforms such as Google Ads or Microsoft Advertising allow to associate ads to user queries by bidding on keywords. That means, the more keywords we bid on, the more are the chances to get traffic. The keywords forming the Jot structure are stored in Azure Data Warehouse and classified by six different dimensions, buying platform, Google Ads or Microsoft Advertising, country, language, device, match type, and landing page. The combination of a keyword text such as cheap flights and values of these six dimensions must be unique. So when we get new keywords from any data source and want to upload it into the ad platform, it will first filter the values that already exist into Jot structure to eliminate duplicates. In the actual workflow we get the keywords from many different data sources, each one with its own ETL to get a keyword file. This file is then processed by a .NET application that checks the nature of the keywords on the file and deletes duplicates, forbidden keywords and other invalid data entries. After the file is filtered, it uploads the keywords to the platforms using its API. The main problem to face here is the high volume of invalid data entries per file, which can represent up to 60% of the file size and increase the time spent in file processing. So here is when the keyword repository comes up, a system of ETL processes, databases and procedures that allows to import, store process and upload keywords to the platforms, avoiding duplicates to keep the structure's size and keyword files completely optimized. In the new workflow process with the keyword repository the quality controls are made before the ETL for the file generation. As a result, we will be able to reduce the errors in the files and the time spent to process and upload the information. Finally. We will use a Power BI report system directly connected to our SQL Server database where all the information of this procedure is stored. This report is web-based and can be updated in real time. That concludes the presentation. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact with our technical team. Thanks for watching.